Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video so Taurus, welcome to your video and uh, let's see what you lovely people are to experience into this uh, upcoming week. But before we go there, if you do enjoy the content here in the channel and uh, you do wish to support my poor soul, subscribe, that's just enough. And uh, you can also give a thumbs up and as well hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well live streams. So let me finish the uh, shuffle of the cards here and uh, we're gonna check out very very soon what your week is gonna be like Taurus so uh, the first card that you do have for the week that is going to be the eight of wands uh, moving second we do have the knight of swords uh, the third one that is going to be the uh, strength followed by the fourth card of your week which is going to be justice 
and uh, the last card for you Taurus that is the seven of wands that we do have a uh, here so these five cards and that is going to be more or less interesting week and uh, right off the back into this week you can you can uh, have a lot of things done and settled and that primarily comes from a uh, these three cards that we do have in the middle okay so it comes from the uh knight of swords which is obviously a person that steps in into your environment that leads you to the strength and at the end uh, to the justice but we're gonna get there in a minute at the start of your particular week taurus uh with the eights of wands having it there uh, that is going to be quite of a dynamic period of time day or two where there are going to be a lot of things moving around and simply you may find yourself pretty much struggling being at many places at one time or at the same time and thus it is just here the eight of wands gives the selective nature that you need to show into your career and into your relationship as well into your life in general very carefully selecting and picking up uh, opportunities enterprises if you do wish a uh, activities as well that you should involve yourself into because with the eight of wands guys with uh, this particular card there is a, a bit of a risk involved and you may get yourself involved in a situation that you actually have more to lose than to gain from it and for that at the start of the week is going to be very important that you do face the enterprises of your life with clear-headed mind and be uh, quite objective about them and true to yourself above everything else can you literally see it through to the very end do you have the resources right now but besides that point right after this dynamic period of time for you Taurus the uh, Knight of Swords steps in for you and I want to draw one more card for the Knight of Swords oh my god we do have uh, the King of Wands so these two cards these are a active friends and they speak about a very ambitious individual here and the beauty of uh, these cards it is that the ambition of this person first of all it has a merit second of all that person is not a i don't know how to explain it in english really but that person simply isn't somebody who waits others to do their work for them but instead they are prepared and ready to jump into action and, and kind of get the things done themselves if they don't have anybody else uh, to to look around for uh, however into your life I do believe that this isn't a shared ambition at least not for now that individual steps in into your life and it just makes your life more beautiful because although that is a very ambitious person they also know how to enjoy themselves okay they they um, and uh, fix me here if I do not express this correctly that is a person who has a knack for having good life they like to party, they like to go out on walks, they, they, they like to chat with people, they like to have a good conversations as well, especially about the conversations. Knights of Swords with the King of Wands the, uh, as a catalyst, hey, these people like to talk about a very meaningful stuff. I mean, they wouldn't care about what your car is, you know, what house you are living in. They, what, what they're going to care is what can be accomplished in the future and therefore you can have a lot of conversations and talks about goals, uh, about the genders as well and in generally having a person who is completely capable to fathom you and to understand you. And uh, together uh, that we do have, uh, that is going to be not together but afterwards the strength card kicks in and here it's a bit unclear, are you going to carry on together or, or with the knights of swords you were just you know had that random bump in and you just took some kind of an example of this individual but we can see here at the middle of your week with the strength card that comes in it's that at that point you you are fixed upon something because the strength here speaks about your uh the word is not extreme it's almost on the cusp of being extreme it is just as much as it's needed enthusiasm that you are uh, addressing into either a project into your career or into your love life as well and, and this enthusiasm guys that you're going to exert in the middle of your week is going to simply make you being able to perform the 
to have the right attitude. That is what I'm trying to say here. With the strength card, you always know how to address a certain situation. You always know, should you smile or should you be aggressive or should you kill the, the, uh, the aggression with kindness here? But in the material world, the strength card is about a goal that is challenging and it feels like, oh, I always say it feels like you are climbing really a mountain, but you know that at the top of the mountain is the castle with the treasury and you are bound to reach that treasury should you keep up with your enthusiasm. So rest assured here, whether you are holding your hands with the Knight of Swords or you just took an example of them, uh, that interaction is going to make you more focused either into your love life or into your career life. Either way, you are to prosper from there on moving forward. And we can see that very clearly here with uh, Justice. There isn't much to be said about this card aside from that towards the end of the week here. You're going to have everything sorted out. Okay, all the responsibility, all the responsibilities settled at the place where they where. where they belong all of your resources spread out accordingly as well so what, what i'm trying to say here taurus it is the highly unlikely that I, in this week you are going to struggle and having problems okay it's it's highly highly unlikely doing so and uh, to this what what is going to add to this it is that you are also going to have an astute astute discernment about a what is more important than other and as well, you are going to have a sense for accountability as well. So here we do see that towards the end of the week, you are not just only going to be up to the challenge, but as well, you will have your full preparation for to take on the challenge itself. And that is exactly what happens at the end, because we do have the seven of wands. And I mean, I, can you see yourself here sitting on the top of the mountain that I spoke about at the middle of the week? and literally guarding your domain and it doesn't necessarily has to be with the competition at that point guarding meaning cultivating at least in this particular case for you important thing to know with the seven of wands it is that when you do reach your top of the mountain at the end of the week you are going to be tested inwardly or outwardly as well through a temptation or through a competition through something and it will be very important that you do resist that test and from there on moving forward you just need to have that readiness to jump into action because the surprises doesn't end here i mean the positive surprises and you're always going to have something more to do more to add but again you need to have that readiness to just uh pounce and, and take on the opportunity so with that being said Taurus this was your weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it don't forget to subscribe if you if you like the show and uh yeah I mean we're gonna see each other next time until then bye